AVC, Gary's Vinyl Dungeon here. I got some uh, new records I want to show you. Um, I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do one before lunch and I'm going to go eat. And then I'll have to do one after lunch. Those are just too many. I kind of separated them between uh, new purchases and ones I got at my local record store. <clears> Throat's a little dry. Anyway, start off with the best. This is a uh, Texas Flood, Stevie Ray Vaughan, his first studio album. And this one is the Ultra Disc One Step Pressing, Mobile Fidelity. Um, it's the best sounding record I have. Um, incredible sound. Um, just uh, unreal how good good the sounds of clarity and the sound stage on it is is just incredible um i've played it about four times already and i got it on um i guess it was wednesday it came last wednesday but great great album this is his first studio album and uh i don't know if anybody's ever listened to it but it's a really really good album but uh and uh, I got a, another Dylan uh, Mofi. This is Desire. Another good album by Dylan. This is um, came out in 1976. This was Dylan's 17th studio album. Uh, it's a good album. Uh, I like it a lot. Of course, I'm a big Dylan fan, as you all know. I think I have 40 some albums, and I don't even have. Nowhere near all the ones that uh, he's put out. I think he's put out 50 some. But uh, yeah, another good album. Great sounding album too. Now the next one's a MoFi. But this is an older MoFi. This is, um, this came out in, um, I think it was, uh, let's see what I got here, 1979. This one. It's Little Feet. Um, it's Waiting for Columbus. And this is, a MoFi edition of that came out in, like I said, 79. Good sounding album. Um, it's not as good as they job as they do now. Now the records are just impeccable. They're just so clear. And But this one isn't quite as good. And I, I remember a lot of other people saying the same thing. The older MoFi's didn't sound quite as good as the newer ones. But it still sounds good. It's, I have two copies of this. It does sound better than the copy I had. But it doesn't sound as as good as like I say the, the newer like the Stevie Ray Vaughan album is incredible, but uh, yeah, that's all the mofis. Next up, um, I got uh, two Black Sabbath albums. Um, this one is Sabotage. This came out in 1975. This is their sixth studio album. And I know you guys know this, but it's a gatefold. But uh, I'm a, I had all of Black Sabbath on CD, and I, I just started getting them all on uh, vinyl. Um, it's got some great songs on it. Uh, I like it. And the next one. This came out in two, 2002. It's Past Lives, Black Sabbath. And uh, it's also a gatefold. It's uh, sweet leaf. It's it's basically a, uh, I guess a, what you'd call a compilation album. But it's it's a good sound album. Really really good. Next album is Alice Cooper Last Temptation. Uh, I just started uh, getting into. I had a few of his albums, a couple greatest hits. But now I just started getting into some of his uh, buying the whole album instead of just getting a compilation. But this isn't as good as the last one I just showed. But uh, it's still good. It's still a good album. Next one is um, ZZ Top. And that was uh, Alice Cooper's 20th studio album. This is uh second studio album by ZZ Top. I ordered the first one. Um like four hours after I ordered this one in. They're still not here yet. They took a little tour of the country. 
you know how the post office is they don't send them straight to you <laughs> it went uh it went to three other cities from kentucky before it landed back in tennessee um like four or five days later <laughs> so it went 100 miles in five days i guess somebody put it on the wrong truck <laughs> But that one uh, came out in 72. That's their second album. Now this is Soundgarden. This is, um, um, what was this called? Oh yeah, Super Unknown. Um, this came out in 94, and it was the fourth studio album by Soundgarden. I like Soundgarden a lot. I have, I think I have a lot of their CDs, but I just started purchasing them on vinyl. Good sounding album, I like it. Now next, I got two Grateful Dead albums. Um, first one here is called um, Oxo Moxo. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's I don't know if anybody can see that one there, but it's really a weird saying, and I looked up the phonics on it and. Uh, that's basically, I think I was saying it right, but uh, good album. I like it. It's, this came out in 69, uh, and uh, good album. I like early uh, Grateful Dead. And then this one, this is Anthem of the Sun. I think this came out the next year. Um, no, this actually came out in 68. It's their second studio album. Now, I, I usually don't buy picture discs. But when I seen this one, I had to have it. It was just too cool looking. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty neat looking. Then it's got the band on the other side here. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, and the first song on here is a little noisy. That's why I don't like to buy picture discs. They just don't have the quality of sound, uh, that regular discs have. This is a 50th anniversary edition. Um, this just came out. But, uh, but like I said, I thought it was cool. I don't usually fall for the picture disc. I, I've got a few, but uh, they don't, uh, like I say, I always found they didn't sound as good. But uh, next album, Green Day, American Idiot. I have every Green Day on CD. I just started gathering up their uh, albums. Um, let's see, where did this come out? This came out in 2004, America Idi American Idiot. It's the uh, seventh studio album by Green Day. Uh, Holiday, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Um, a lot of good songs on here. Um, Wake Up When September Ends. Just, just a plan, you know, on all good album. <clears throat> the next two. Now these one, I ordered um, two sets of five albums. Orders. I ordered one, and then I had dinner, and then I come back and ordered another set. <clears throat> and this, these two here were in the second set that went traveling around the country before it got here. But uh, I know I bought a Green Day album, and I said I had had them all but I was waiting on these to show up and these were um, <clears throat> the two albums that, that I got this is the long run long road this came out in 2003 this is their fourth studio album but uh, a lot of good songs on it someday because of you feeling way too damn good I like uh, I like uh, Nickelback <clears throat> this next one is um, Feed the Machine. This came out in 2017. And uh, this is their ninth studio album. And I really enjoyed this one. This this is a good album. Um, of course, you got to be a Nickelback fan. <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I don't usually see people show many. And I know I've mentioned that before. But uh, they, I don't see too many people, uh, you know, showing too many Green Day albums. <clears throat> Man, my throat's dry. <clears throat> well, I guess that's it. I'm going to do another. It's 10 of 12, and 
as a diabetic, I got to eat on schedule or I go into low blood sugar because I take uh, long acting insulin, which feeds my body 24 hours. Um, but uh, I'm going to do another one after lunch. And they're mostly all stuff I got from my local record store. Um, it's I know I've mentioned it before, but it's Rest in Peace um, Record Shop. And it's uh, a guy named Chuck runs it. And uh, actually, that one older MoFi, I got at his store. But I just wanted to show all the MoFis together. But I told him if he ever got any, you know, older MoFis in to let me know and just put them aside. And if it's somebody I like, I'll, I'll get it from him. But, uh, okay, uh, that's it. Everybody have a great day. Take care now.